Hey, how's it going? My name's Colleen. And I'm Victor. And welcome to our channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we have a really cool episode to share with you. It's going to be about my experience at Silk Road, which is a two-night festival out in the middle of nowhere, in the desert. In the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So if you guys um, have watched our channel before, you've seen that the latest video was his Black Panther experience. Um, that was his guy's night out. And now this vlog is about my girl's weekend out. Okay, so for this segment, I wanted to share some of the outfits that I prepared for Silk Road. Uh, Victor and I are both very interested in fashion. So in the future, you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more fashion videos from us and a lot more fashion yep. in our vlog. Here's a bit of the nighttime and daytime outfits that I brought to Silk Road. <laughs> All right, so those are my outfits. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, so then I just packed up my tent and headed out. What's up, friends? Okay, so we're finally on the road to Silk Road. Queen Windshield, <laughs> holla! Let's yeah. go! These are my friends Yoselin and Marissa. We're hey. about to take this road trip. Adventure time, guys. Yes. We got some good vibes. Uh, yes. Let's go. Let's go. So, yeah, we'll take it there. We'll see you soon. We're doing this, guys. We're doing this. Hey, let's go. let's go. So, the directions we received for this festival are very. How would you say? Sketch. <laughs> they're, they're like, follow these clues into these hidden bushes and yeah. see what happens. Yeah, so we just reset our dome. We're going in, y'all. Yeah. We we're have to go in. on this path for like seven miles, and then we're going to see some playa, and then we're going to do some other stuff. So stay tuned. See yes. if we figure we're it. We're doing some Indiana Jones stuff right now. All right, so we arrived to Silk Road. Super cool experience. It was totally dark when we got there. So I pretty much had to set up that tent by myself because oh, uh, I'm so used to doing it with like my sister or somebody that knows right. how to pitch a tent, but I was the only one who knew. So that was a mission and a half, but we got it. Your girl got it. That's what's up. So like I saw that you guys' GPS wasn't working. You know, or... it's, it's not that the GPS wasn't working. It's just they give you directions and you just have to follow them. That sounds like a headache and a half. <laughs> you know, you gotta do the most sometimes. Uh, I guess so. Uh, it was a good experience. I was really yeah, fun. Yeah. I'm happy that we found it. Right. I'm problems. happy too <laughs> that you found it. At least I still have my lady. Yeah, yeah, we out here. But uh, yeah, after we set up the tent, we pretty much just explored the grounds. We met up nice. with our friends. Um, Omar was there, so that was really cool to meet up with him. Um, and then he just showed us around. The grounds were really cute. Everything was like lit up and they had this really cool like stage. Nice. And they had a DJ playing. They they were like alternating DJs oh, so nice, that there was nice. music playing 24-7. What kind of music? It was mostly house music. Oh, okay. Yeah. House. A lot of like... <laughs> yeah. Oh, a lot cool. of dance music, for sure. All right, all right, so. all right. So you just pitched your tent and that was it for the night? Just danced the night away? We, we danced a bit and then, yeah, we just got back to the tent and... We tried to knock out, which it was funny because like the music really doesn't stop. So you're, you're just like hearing music in the in the far background, but 
You know, it was kind of nice. It was a whole different experience. Nice, so. nice. Was there showers there at least? Was the no bathrooms? Showers. No, showers. no showers. There were bathrooms, but. That's good. Yeah, you know, we brought wipes. We came with soap and water. Okay. So, you know, we, we did a little thing. So that was night number one. Here's day number two. Good morning. This is day two of Silk Road. Um, we woke up in our tent. Let me show you the outside. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Day two. Day two. What's good? Looks beautiful out here. The sun is shining. We are all out here. It's so pretty outside. Yeah, we're gonna get ready and then do some yoga. And apparently there's some painting classes out here, so we're gonna join in on that. See you soon. So day two was actually really fun. They had workshops all morning and afternoon, starting with the yoga. Nice. And then it went into like an hour long sound bath. Super relaxing. Just they getting had, your sound bath on. Yeah. Doing the whole thing. <laughs> they were also playing all these different types of instruments. Oh, cool. And um, because it was so hot, they were like spraying us with water. So it was like a mist. Oh, okay. You know, so it was really nice. It was very relaxing. After that, they had um, some really cool conversations, and then they also had some tea time followed by painting. But just being in the desert where it's super hot, uh, it was just like a little uncomfortable, like physically. And then on top of that, there was a sandstorm. So this sandstorm was pretty crazy because every, like during certain parts of the workshops, you would just feel a gust of sand just hit you. And so everyone would have to like shield their eyes for protection so that you don't get dust in your eyes. Wow. And to top it off, when we left the workshop and headed back to the tent, like the tent was completely tipped over. <laughs> <laughs> like just everything was just gone. Like we oh, had a man. whole little front section with like our rugs and our chairs and that was just like, like it looked like a tornado had hit it. Oh wow! Did too. you lose your like rugs and stuff, or you were able we to didn't, grab them? No, we got it. Oh, okay. We got it. Luckily, our next door neighbors were super kind, and they actually tried their best to like move the tent close to the car so that it wouldn't completely fly away. Oh wow! They did that for you, even though you guys weren't there. Yeah, because we weren't there, so they. Oh us out. wow! That's really cool. Yeah, and then yeah. yeah, we just had a lot of help from the neighbors to like yeah. put it back. Oh wow, you gotta love kind people. Yeah, there was so many good people at that event, so. Yeah, so it seems like the whole event itself with all the workshops and stuff were very like interpersonal, like yeah. self-reflection stuff, huh? Yeah, it was very focused on healing, like community so. healing and getting to know your neighbors. There was a food vendor that sold uh, strictly vegan food. Oh, okay. And honestly, wow, some of the best vegan food I've ever had in my life. It was so colorful, um, very, nurturing, very fulfilling. It was honestly best tacos, best rainbow tacos of my life. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, rainbow tacos. Rainbow tacos. You gotta have them. Silk Road. Silk Road. What's up, friends? We just finished a full afternoon of really cool wellness stuff. Hey. We hey, did everybody. yoga, we painted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we learned how to survive a sandstorm. And we learn how to survive, how to make a tent, and then the wind blow it over, but we got this. We got this. And we got sandwiches. Peanut butter, jelly time, peanut butter, jelly with a baseball bat. Peanut butter, jelly with a baseball bat. I got the tamale from the next door neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> mm. This is the dustiest I've ever felt in my life. Hey. Crustiest too. Crustiest. I'm I'm full of dirt on my face. But we still cute. Oh whatever. Oh whatever. <laughs> so yeah, stay tuned for more.
Okay, so update. Uh, since the sandwich, we pretty much had some good conversation in the car yep. for maybe two hours. Yeah. It was good. It was a good time. Bonded. Mm -hmm. um, and then we tried our best to get our makeup done before the sun set, but the sun be set in on <laughs> us. We are fan dancing in the middle of the desert. It was really fun. And now we're vibing. We're going to set some intentions yes. for the rest of our night. Go on the dance floor and enjoy our last night here. Hey. Our last night. Let's rise and shine. Let's get jiggy with it. Yes. Let's Ooh. rise out. friends it's our final day at Silk Road <laughs> we just um, put our tent away and we took a couple pictures out in the desert and now we're gonna get ready to go home because it's getting pretty hot out here but uh, overall it was a great time we got to dance the night away I didn't really film last night because my phone had died but it was a really cool day so thanks for watching y'all it's been fun say bye friends Woo! Okay, so update, um, the car shut down, the battery died because we were using some of the AC yesterday. And so far, our neighbors are helping us out, so. Good news, we got this car on! Yes. Oots, oots. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. We're gonna be on our way. It was quick, it actually, I think it lasted maybe five minutes, yeah. so that was really fast. Now I have a bag of trash on me because, you know, you gotta get rid of what you put in. Take care of the environment. Yes. It takes care of you. Right, with that said, we're gonna leave soon. So, super excited to conclude this vlog. Peace, y'all. Toodles. God loves you. So, that was my full experience at Silk Road. It looked crazy. It looked fun. It was fun. It's fun. Yeah, highly recommended if for like the hippie and you. If you're really into yoga, drinking tea, just wellness, um, or just healing with your community and getting to know other like-minded people, I think it's like a great event for you. I'm glad you had fun. Thank I'm glad you. you're back. Thank you. Safe and sound from that sound storm and all that jazz. We hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> um, like and subscribe for more vlogs, more fashion videos coming at you. Yeah, definitely. Appreciate y'all being here. Yeah. Um, Stay cool, you cool cat. <laughs>